Hello everyone, my name is Oksana. It's Road to AdWords Weekly AdWords Insider 131. And we deliver the news about the creation of our project AdWords. And uh, Martin, could you please open today's session? Hello to you. Hi. Yes, um, greetings everybody. Um, I'd like to start by uh, drawing everyone's attention to um, an event, a festival that's happening across Tokyo which is called Edo Art Expo. And it focuses on artworks from the uh, Edo period. There are 42 different locations at which these artworks are being displayed They're all across um, the city of Tokyo. Um, I must say the um, information is kind of sporadic. Uh, there isn't a really great uh, place to, to see everything, but if you just type into your search engine of choice, Edo Art Expo, then uh, it will come up. So anyone who's in um, Tokyo should definitely go and check it out. And it started on Friday um, this weekend, and it runs until the 8th of October. So there's still um, plenty of time to, to go and check out some of these um, exhibits. Um, most of them seem to be in the Nihonbashi area, um, but there's some others in Ginza, near Tokyo Station, it's good, uh, Kiyoshi, Nishinakawa, and other areas. So it's fascinating. So many amazing, uh, priceless works of art on, on display and uh, definitely something for everybody. So definitely check out the Edo Art Expo, um, which is obviously spot on with our, our theme. Um, in other news, um, Japan is ablaze with Otani Shohei fever as he, um, got 50 stolen bases and 50 home runs, which is absolutely unprecedented in Major League Baseball. So he started what they're calling the 50-50 club. He's actually already up to 52 stolen bases. So that's amazing. He's also the the highest paid baseball player ever. And um, yeah, just quite a remarkable uh, feat of sportsmanship on his part. So um, I'm not into baseball, but it seems like even people who aren't into baseball are now becoming aware of is brilliant, so that's quite interesting. Um, a few other things in AI. Um, Microsoft AI is taking up so much electricity. They've signed a deal with um, the operator of the nuclear reactor in the, in the US called Constellation Energy, and they're the ones who own Three Mile Island. The people who were kind of around my age will remember that it's actually um, the second biggest nuclear disaster ever to happen um, after um, Chernobyl um, and it caused a big scandal um, back in the day in, in the States, um, bringing into question in the safety of nuclear energy. Um, but um, they've just signed a deal with Microsoft and it's going to go online in 2028 and be a carbon free source of energy um, for the AI operation, which is taking up a lot of uh, gas at the moment. Also, um, there's a new digital currency being explored by four big Japanese banks, including the Bank of Japan, Federal Reserve Bank of New York, and um, uh, the, uh, the British, French, South Korean central banks. They're kind of backing something where um, four Japanese banks are, are kind of participating in this. It's called Project Agora, Agora being the uh, Greek word for market. And so that's quite interesting. We're seeing more and more institutions um, kind of taking an interest in, in digital currencies. This is something that um, Mitsushi Sam has been talking about a lot. Um, I, I do think that the world is gradually um, heading in that direction. So for us as a proprietor of um, digital currency, very, very interesting and encouraging news. Um, also next week, it's the Tokyo Games Show 2024, um, opens on Thursday the 26th and runs for three days until Sunday. So I'm sure some of uh, our uh, fans here are going to be visiting that game show. Loads of cool stuff on show there. Um, uh, 30th anniversary of the PlayStation will be celebrated there. So um, yeah, loads of cool stuff. Um, 980 exhibitors. It's at Makuhari Messe in Chibo. Um, not so far away from Tokyo. So um, I guess you can follow some of that online. Anyone who's in Japan and is into games would probably be going there anyway. 
Um, and then the other thing, um, you know, touching on the topic that we've been discussing over the past few months is the um, government regulation of social media. And uh, just recently, uh, the FTC released a report that uh, accuses um, social media operators of what they call vast surveillance. And um, it seems like maybe they're going to take action on that and reel in some of this uh, harvesting of user data, which would be good for all of us. And so fingers crossed uh, they actually kind of keep their word and do something about it. Um, you know, privacy is a big concern for a lot of um, netizens. Um, obviously, it's a concern for us too. And um, as the management has been drawing attention to for a long time, the security of our users' data is very, very um, high on our list of priorities. And we're doing a lot to ensure that that's safeguarded as we develop the platform. So, um, yeah, definitely a piece of good news from the US there. And last thing is um, there's a very, very interesting uh, profile of Masayoshi Son in the Financial Times. And um, it's quite shocking in some places. You know, he, uh, he calls himself ugly and says, I've done nothing to be proud of, um, which I think most people in business would disagree with because you know he's one of the great achievers in Japanese business. But yeah, uh, obviously the WeWork thing has um, tarnished his reputation and the reputation of the Vision Fund. Um, but uh, yes, this interview with Lionel Barber, who's the, the interview guy at the, the FT, and I think the FT is worth subscribing to just for these interv interviews with Lionel Barber. He's, uh, he's very, very good, and it's always very interesting. But um, uh, yes, there's a new biography um, of Son out, and I guess it, this interview is time to go inside with the publication of that. But um, yeah, definitely worth a read if you can pick up a copy of the FT, or if you're a subscriber, it's behind a paywall. But you can also read a summary of it in TechCrunch. Uh, it's quite interesting um, for anyone who's uh, an admirer of Son. Um, it's definitely worth a read. Anyway, that's it for me for this week, Oksana. So back to you. Yes, thank you very much, Martin. And uh, I would like to invite Mini Abramovich to the session. Hello to you, Mini. Hello. Hi, thank you. Thank you, uh, Oksana. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Mini. Uh, today, I would like to share about the news about the um, Black Rock Spot Bitcoin ETF approved by SEC for option trading. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission has approved the next tax application to list option on the iShare Bitcoin Trust ETF, or IBIT, marking a meaningful milestone in cryptocurrency investment products. That approval, which came on September 20, enabled the trading of the options related to the Black Box Spot Bitcoin ETF listed under the checker IBIT on Nextech and grants investments, uh, sorry, investors additional way through which to hash again and get exposure to the cryptocurrency market. The decision permits options that are physically settled, which means that contracts will deliver the actual Bitcoin upon exercise. According to Nextech, options will trade in a similar fashion as other ETF options with the same rules and rule set. The approval marks the first time the SEC has allowed option trading around a spot Bitcoin ETF and give institutional and retail investors more sophisticated way to hash and amplify position in the world's largest cryptocurrency. Options trading gives an investor the right but not the obligation to buy or sell something at a certain price and within a specific time. BlackRock Spot Bitcoin ETF option will be American style, meaning traders will have the possibility to exercise their contracts any times before or on the expiration day. The commission also indicated that such option will be associated with improved risk management and hedging regarding the volatility of Bitcoin's price the new route to managing exposure to the highly volatile cryptocurrency market, in particular, would benefit in institutional investors. The move has been seen as a positive development for the bond cryptocurrency market, as Bitcoin ETFs and their derivatives will further find their way in, into mainstream financial markets. 
Other U.S. exchanges are expected to follow Nextex's lead and file application for similar products. Later, Nextex also filed option trading in Ethereum ETF linked options, but it may take a little bit longer, possibly well into 2025. For Ethereum, Bitcoin and crypto markets seem to start to move upward, upward now as a result of the federal fund weight cut. But crypto market will now be affected by U will will not be affected by U.S. economic policy as the ultimate currency for human being in future. But this time, thanks for that, it become it became to be a trigger to pump up crypto market. The timing of the booming is just fitting to Edovis now, as we start to be able to announce the new which constructed Edovis. We are still in the process of the construction but you can enjoy a very lucrative pay-to-earn game in Edwards very soon. Time is coming. Soon, you will start to see the content of new game in Edwards and new standard e ecosystem. Edwards Foundation is considering to start to disclose what is coming in future. This standard ecosystem will catch the real demand of standard after you enjoy the pay-to-earn game. Today, I can say only the announcement we start the promotion of new game from this October. Thank you for your patience, but it's really coming soon. So that's all for today. Thanks, Osana. Uh, thank you very, very much, Mini, and thank you everybody who were listening to us today. So we will meet next week. Goodbye.